I'm retreating, back fist, then unwind, block, and strike. Do sow, hammer, grab punch knee, right elbow, back fist, out loud choy, white punch, low roundhouse, down block back fist, right do sow, left hammer, grab punch, left elbow, down block back fist, and then I'm wiping into a mantis hook and striking underneath. So I wanna feel like hit and hit. So one continuous motion, I'm attacking high, getting them to block up. Once they do block up, I'm gonna grab that arm and immediately strike the groin. We might think that when we wipe up, we're wiping and then pulling it to our left side here and then going and striking. In reality, what's actually happening, if you're thinking about 3D space here, once I do that downward block and then I wipe, it actually stays there. So I'm wiping and I want to make sure that my hand does that hook as I go up. But the reason why it ends up on that left side isn't because I'm pulling it to my left side. It ends up there because my body is sinking in. If you notice how when I wipe, it's right around where that wooden beam is. And then when I step, it's still where that wooden beam is. So my body is just going in to that. So I'm hitting here and I'm hitting here. So it stays in that same spot. So when I grab the arm, I'm not pulling them forward. I'm just hanging it up and my body is stepping and I'm striking the groin. So I'm uh, advancing and that's how I can sneak in and hit them in the groin. So left foot slides behind. And once I do that, then wipe and whipping fist. Okay, so right forward, back fist and whipping fist. Because there's a lot of back fists in this form and it's really easy to mix them up, I want you guys to really know the difference between the two. Then when you hit that part of the form, your body is less likely to be confused. It's an honor. This time we're crossing over as we retreat and then unwind, block down and strike the face. Okay, so right forward, I'm retreating, back fist, then unwind, block and strike. Don't do too many of those, um, otherwise you might get too dizzy. <laughs> and do sow, palm strike. Phoenix spreads his wings. Then down block, eye poke, met spice cave, step forward, straight punch, then funche, funche, downward block, then halting palm, grab, cross kick, hammer, jumping inside, crescent kick into a right and gua tong choy, then so let's work on our side flowers. Again, we're dropping behind the back. Then drop, turn, circle. Left hand is by your right side. Circle once, drop, turn, and out. Circle, drop, turn, out. So try to get the timing of the uh, hip turn. This is really good for our shoulders, our elbows, and our wrists. We rarely bring our arms behind our back. Pretty good there, Hunter. Nice. And we're gonna do standard figure eight. So I'm right forward and I'm just cutting upwards this time. So just cutting upwards here. So I got my figure eights going. And then I'm gonna figure out how do I turn that into a side flower? So once I'm here, I'm gonna step forth my left foot. Now I'm going this way and then drop it behind my back. And then I can go from here, turn upwards again. So now I'm going circling upwards and then down behind the back. So I'm just flowing into it. So I'm just moving my body out of the way. I'm stepping here, then behind the back. And then as it goes down, I'm stepping forward so I can cut up and just do figure eights. Yeah, that's it, Mrs. Vaughn. Grandma with the broadsword. Yeah. And class Good job, you guys.